Tonight, a major update to a story that Channel 2 Investigates has followed for years now. Jeannie Jones, the pediatric nurse turned convicted baby killer, has pleaded guilty to another murder charge. She's the so-called angel of death, accused of killing babies who were in her care. Channel 2 Investigator Robert Arnold has the new developments. Party's ready on the state of Texas versus Janine Jones. In a Bear County courtroom, the woman once dubbed the angel of death finally admitted to murder. Janine Jones pleaded guilty to the 1981 murder of Joshua Sawyer. Her sentence is life in prison. Joshua's mother, Connie Weeks, then spoke. So I will leave you with this. I hope for you to live a long and miserable life behind bars. In the late 70s and early 80s, Jones worked as a pediatric nurse in San Antonio and Kerrville. She is suspected of killing dozens of babies under her care. The now shuttered hospital where Jones worked destroyed much of the evidence just as an investigation took shape. As a result, she was convicted in 1984 of only one murder, Chelsea McClellan. Even though Jones was sentenced to 99 years in prison, she was sentenced under a now defunct law that would have led to her release from prison. That is until Crime Stoppers Andy Kahn and several family members began pressuring the Bear County DA's office to reopen the old cases. That effort led to Jones being charged with five more counts of murder. My baby girl, Rosemary, never had a chance in life to go to school, to get married, and to have my grandbaby. I often wonder how a person can sleep at night after taking so many helpless babies' lives. You must have a very large black heart. Jones' guilty plea now means she will never be released from prison. Crime Stoppers Andy Kahn was in San Antonio for today's hearing on his way back. He called us and said, one of the nation's most prolific serial killers finally received just punishment for taking the lives of over 40 infants and babies who could not run, scream, or cry for help. She is truly a narcissistic psychopath who doesn't deserve to breathe free air. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.